Hi everyone, I'm Hales and welcome to my channel. Today's video is all going to be about the Instagram challenge Frugal Frocks 2021. I'm sure, I'm hoping you aren't sick of hearing it, but I'm sure you are familiar with the challenge because there have been videos running for the last couple of weeks and there is going to be a video from different a different sewing vlogger every day for the whole of March. So by the end of March, you definitely would have heard of it if you haven't heard of it by now. Now the challenge, challenge, is to is making a dress from a free pattern and using fabric that you already have and by doing this you can then partake in the challenge and if you would like to be on the chance of winning and want to just join in then you reveal what your final dress looks like after you've made it in March on the 31st of March over on Instagram and you have to use the hashtag frugalfrocks2021 and also tag the Yorkshire So Girl and Frugalissima. So that is Ruan and Sam. They are the two ladies who are running the challenge and behind it all. And there are lots of prizes up for grabs and I'm all for a challenge with a prize at the end. So this video and everyone else's videos is just to give you ideas and just to get everyone um, joining in really for a good sense of community. Now I am going to crack on with the um, patterns and I'm gonna probably shift over to the side so I on this side of the screen you'll then see that I'm going to put some footage in of websites and things and the patterns that I'm talking about and I'm just want to give you some ideas and it's hopefully not going to be too long a video you would have seen probably Tamlin yesterday from Sewn on the Time talking about her take on the challenge and tomorrow's vlogger will be Helen from Stitch Rip Repeat so I will put their channels down in the description box below but if you check out the hashtag, you'll hopefully catch up with everybody. Now, if you are a serial cheapskate like myself, you will not have yards and yards or meters and meters of fabric. I have found some fabric in my drawers here, and so I will come to them after I've shown you the patterns just to see what I have, show you what I've got. So the first website that I want to draw your attention to is a website called Heather Handmade. Now she has a blog and in that blog there's a specific one which lists loads of free maxi dresses so if you go to google type in heather handmade free maxi you'll then get a link which will take you straight to that blog post now i'll show you on screen here this is the website and there are all sorts of things so there are um, dresses for maternity hacks um, for jersey and there's one where someone's made out one out of a vintage sheet which also brings me to the fact that you don't have to have fabric that you bought from a fabric shop it could be curtain fabric duvet cover sheets it could be anything anything which you would class as fabric it doesn't need to be garment fabric that you've specifically bought because you can use any kind of thing and turn it into a dress so on that theme in this blog that shows you that you can make a dress out of scarves so i'm assuming these are silk i think these are silk scarves rather than like a woolly scarf but if you have any that you've picked up from the charity shop or any which are languishing at the back of your drawer you need three scarves to make this dress and it's super easy and you follow the blog post and it just shows you where to stitch it and how you can make a light and airy sleek summer dress so I wanted to show you that one because if you already have that kind of fabric and those scarves when well, that's win-win because it's quite an easy make from the looks of things and the other one was a call a dress called the Quinn patchwork dress I mean obviously you could get a dress and color block it with bits and pieces that you've got like scraps and things but this one is from from fabricstore.com all you need to do is go to the fabricstore.com and click on the register button and you just need your name and an email address you don't need to enter any other personal details but it enables you to access their patterns on their site and if you go on the site and type in free pattern or I think there's a link on the side which is like free PDF downloads then you can just click on that and there is one so there's a dress called the Quinn patchwork dress and this will then mean it will come up you're going to get a link email to you. Now you have to open it up in Adobe Reader, which is a free app. I already have it on my MacBook, but I'm sure a lot of people do have it for PDFs that it, it, you open it up through Adobe Reader. 
I couldn't actually find the pattern so I emailed them and you have to double click so when it shows an attachment I can only find the instructions but if you double click it's hidden within that then all the pattern pieces appear they were really responsive so I'm sure if you've got any queries on any patterns and things they will get back to you but I thought that is two really good kind of stash bush, blah, 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 stash buster fabrics that you don't need to have gone to the shop and bought loads of fabric for. Now I've just got my notes here because there are two dresses that I'm considering and I just want to draw your attention to them. Now both of which have been mentioned by previous vloggers so I'm not going to go into too much detail but one of them is from Mood Fabrics so if you type into Google Mood Fabrics free patterns it will take you straight to their section of the website where they have their patterns and if you look up the Cypress dress which is spelt differently from the country but that will then bring up, there's a couple of blog posts there and the one I like is the sleeveless version which someone's done in like a light blue cotton mainly because I think that it looks quite a summery dress but I think with the sleeves I think it would just make it a bit hot but plus I don't have loads of fabric so I think the sleeveless one I'll obviously save on fabric by not having sleeves to cut out with with these um, photos on mood because of the lockdown situation in New York all their recent designs have been pictured on mannequins because they haven't had access to models to take pictures on real people. But new patterns look like they're very size inclusive. So there are quite a few free patterns out in the ether that um, are quite limited on sizing. So I quite like the fact that with mood, um, they're quite generous with their sizing in terms of their size range. And previous to like lockdown, some of their older mates are featured on real people and so you can kind of get a gist of how they fit. So sizing wise, it goes from a 32 inch bust right up to a 55 and a half inch bust waist from 24 and a half to a 49 and a half and a hip of 34 and a half inches to a 63 inch hip. So I think that's a very good size range. And so I am quite interested in making that one. Oh, I'll show you fabrics in a sec. The other one, oh, and it says for this that sleeveless one, I've translated, so it's three yards or 2.74 meters. I'm pretty sure I don't have 2.74, but I might have two and a half, we'll see. The other one I'm considering is the Kaftan by the Stitch Sisters, and that is a tutorial from their blog, and that says you need two and a, between two and a half meters and four meters of fabric and a meter of bias binding, but I probably make my own. Now with their kaftan they've obviously got um, two sort of varying lengths but the really good thing about the pattern is I don't think you need to print anything out because it's literally just a series of rectangles and they tell you the size of the rectangle to measure out and to cut according to your measurements and they also have a size chart of um, according to your measurements what size to cut from the neckline so if you are thinking, because a lot of these patterns you will have to print, and if you're thinking you don't have access to a printer or that's expensive or that kind of thing, this is a really good option to go for because you don't need to print the pattern out. Um, there is a printing discount I can tell you about and I will put that at the end because I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. Oh, let me just get it, hang on. I'm so organised, obviously, I've just had to grab my phone. So the shop is Fabricate and they're offering a 20% discount off their PDF copy shop printing and that is one per customer so you can have lots of patterns in one order but it's one order per customer. Right okay, phone out of the way, back on pattern wise. So the caftan by the Stitch Sisters goes from a bust of 30 and a half inches up to a 47 inch waist from a 25 inch to a 43 and hips of a 34 and a half up to a 51 inch hip. Now this ties round so you can obviously tighten it or loosen it, that kind of thing, but I, I just like it because I'm all about adjustable waist at the minute and I don't know about you, I'm sure I'm not the only person who has fluctuating weight at the minute and so, or in the summertime, you just don't want anything too tight because it's a bit hot and sticky. So I will show you fabrics, let me get rid of that. Okay, so this is a cotton lawn that I bought last year when um, there was a fabric shop which was closing down from Material Girl, Girl Laura. It's a cotton lawn, and I was thinking about this for the cypress dress. So they are purple parasols, and I'd never really worn purple much until I made a sort of purple cardigan. A lot of people said actually, because of my dark hair, purple was quite a good colour. And I think, I mean, this is because it's quite thin. It has got 
you know, quite a good drape to it. I would need to see if I've got any fabric to line. And I think I bought, I think I bought two and a half meters. So whether I could squeeze that dress out, because it's a 2.74, but I'm five foot three. So maybe I could, you know, chop off that extra 20 centimeters. The other fabric I've got for this, possibly the other one, I'm not sure, is, I mean, I don't, there, are, there is probably, whoa, sorry. There's probably a name for this. But this is a fabric which my husband brought back from Zambia a few years ago. And this was given to him for me because I think it's either a skirt or a dress. So you sort of a traditional one where you like wrap round and then you just wear it. But it, I know I probably shouldn't cut into it, but it's literally been sitting in my drawers for a few years now and not doing anything. So I think that, you know, it'd be really good to make use of it and actually make a dress out of it. So it's quite, it's narrow because it's obviously, I don't know, you cast it as African wax print, but it's that cotton. So it's really nice and breathable, but it is narrow, but I do have quite a bit of it. So I'm thinking that maybe for the Cypress. And then I have a um, couple of other options for the caftan. This one is from So Over It that I bought last year to make trousers with, never did, like summery trousers. So. I don't know what it is. Some kind of, it has got like a polyester in it. Um, but obviously it's a really nice fluid drape and it feels really soft, but I only have two meters. So I don't know, what do you think? I'm oh, sorry, I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder just to check that I'm in screen. So maybe that one, or now this one, this is a classic case of buying fabric because it's on offer because it's like a designer fabric on offer and then being too scared to cut into it, which is why it's been sat in my drawer. So I did only buy it last year, I'm pretty sure. But it's, and it's a Lady McElroy fabric. And then I kind of went off it, but it seems a shame because it wasn't cheap to buy and I don't want to be scared of cutting into fabric. And I have at least three meters, it could be three and a half. So I could go full length caftan, but with my height, I don't know, would it look, I mean, it has obviously side splits, I think the caftan does, but whether it would look better being at the shorter length, I'm not really sure. I'm really not a bold print kind of person, but maybe this is the chance to step out of my comfort zone and do something. Otherwise it's just gonna, I think it's just gonna languish in the back of my drawer, it seems such a shame. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. So if you, ha if you have a preference that you think I should do on pattern or fabric, or perhaps you are inspired to make the scarf dress, pop me a comment down below, um, just so we can then see what we're all doing and have a good chat about it. And um, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and um, I'll see you next week if you tune in.